Uh, okay, guys, um, I want to give a little update here. Yesterday, we had a uh, kind of a debacle. Uh, it was a video I put out. I was very upset about this. I was extremely concerned. And um, the video was about Amazon sending a DMCA to a content creator. Uh, his name was a video game database or video game uh, data bank, something like that. And this person had received a DMCA strike from Amazon themselves. Now, this was after the person had sent a uh, support ticket in to the Amazon help and then the Amazon help asked for like more information or maybe he provided it on his own volition I don't remember which one really and he linked the Amazon services he linked them his video that he had made showing this bug now in the context of the bug the bug was a completely innocuous thing it just purely hurt player progression there was no way it could be abused to accelerate progression or to gain an advantage over other players so whenever i heard about this it obviously worried me a lot because i had found out that you know people were dmcaing content that could just potentially make the game look bad and i considered it basically a manipulation of the rules well, it uh, turns out that Amazon actually reached out to me. I knew somebody there, and they reached out to me, and it turns out that it was a mistake. Uh, it was not actually meant to target the person's video. It was, in fact, the reason why the DMCA went through was not towards the video. It was actually towards the gold-selling ad that was put on the video through Google AdSense. So because the Google AdSense, I'm assuming, had put a... Uh, a gold selling ad on this person's video, the people at Amazon mistakenly DMCA'd the video and not the ad. So Amazon is in the process of uh, reinstating his video and he'll get all of his stuff back. The problem is completely solved. So uh, I don't think that they're lying here. I, I really just don't think so. Because why, why would they lie? What is the point of lying? And also, like, here's why I don't think they're lying. I don't think they're lying because they haven't banned anybody else that's made videos of bugs. They didn't ban any of the Josh Strife Hayes videos showing the immunity bug or the invincibility bug. It's really just this one person who received a strike. Now, yesterday, obviously, the reason why I was concerned, it might have been the day before, I don't remember, but the reason why I was concerned is because I didn't really know, is this going to be a new policy? And the reason why I thought it could be a new policy is based off of the uh, dev interview or dev roundtable they had where they emphasized that they didn't want people spreading the bugs online with other people. And I thought this was a change in direction or this could be a different strategy towards dealing with people sharing bugs that are harmful to the game. So that's why I had presumed that it was Amazon, but it turns out that, uh, again, it was Amazon. Amazon, it was just a mistake, and it was supposed to be targeting the ad that was on the video for gold selling, ironically, in New World, and not actually the video itself. So Amazon is completely in the clear here. Obviously, uh, DMCA strikes are very harmful for somebody's channel, and so I'm glad that we could bring uh, awareness to the issue. I'm glad that we're able to help this person's channel. Would it have happened without us? Probably, but who knows? I'm just glad that we were able to talk about it because I do think that it's an important conversation to have. Now, all that being considered, of course, I do have a video out that is expressing the fact that Amazon did this thing. Uh, because the video is now proven to be false, uh, we will be unlisting the video, and we will be uploading this video instead as a correction or an update to what happens so we don't have uh, false information out there online and spreading things that are just simply not true. So we're effectively retracting the previous video because it turns out that Amazon did not do it on purpose whenever we originally thought that they did. And um, anyway, this is something that we try to do as much as we can. I think I made a lot of good points in a video outside of the Amazon thing that maybe I'd like to have stay up, but it doesn't really matter. To be honest with me, like, it doesn't matter. I will, you guys know me, I'll probably say the same thing again. So, uh, yeah, Amazon unironically did nothing wrong. Uh, guys, actually, they were trying to do a good thing. They were trying to get rid of a gold seller ad. And it turned out that they just hit the guy's video on accident. So that's what it was. Uh, I'll read a few comments here and, uh, then that's about it. Did Jeff call you? Yeah, uh, he called me. Yeah, he had to let me know what was going on. That's enough, money's been wired to your account? Yeah, I don't believe that in the slightest. Why do you not believe it? Reporting ads is one process, reporting videos is a different process, what the fuck? Yeah, I know that. And what I'm assuming is that the person who 
did the reporting, didn't know that, and they made a mistake, or they thought that the person was actually putting the ads in the video themselves because they didn't understand the way it worked. Uh, if you didn't cover this, you would still have the strike 100%. It's hard to say. Uh, I don't want to take credit for something like that. I'm just glad that it's not happening. Damone Kim literally made a video. Wait, let me see if I can read this real quick. Sorry, I had to scroll up here. Video, video on how to get into chapel and kill Thorpe. It was clearly a mistake. Yeah, and that's what I was saying before. Like, uh, there was the getting into the chapel to kill Thorpe. And then before that, it was all the uh, invincibility bugs with the hatchet and having the uh, the berserk thing. So that's it. If they're reinstating the video, it's probably true. Yes, true. What proof is there about gold selling ads on YouTube? I've never seen it. It's more like saving face because one employee went rogue. In my opinion, I think it's the same thing. So if an employee went rogue in the, uh, if the employee went rogue and they are undoing that person's decision, to me, this is, this is functionally the same thing. This is functionally the same thing as just solving the problem in general. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, as long as this is not a company policy, in both cases, a mistake or a rogue employee, these are one-time occurrences. My concern was a pattern of behavior, not necessarily whether it happened or not. You see what I'm saying? Did you receive an email? No, no, they just DM me. Uh, I believe it could have been a mistake, but if you didn't make a video, chances that you could actually get it fixed on his own? I have no idea. Like, as I said before, I don't know. Uh, I know they've covered things and they've responded to problems before without me covering them or talking about them. But in the end, I, I do think that we try to use the channel in a positive way. We try to uh, bring light to things that we consider unfair or unjust or uh, not appropriate. And that's why I made the video. It's because it was something that did concern me very much. It would be weird after their statements on the roadmap video, thus a change in policy, but I believe them on this. Yeah, I believe them too. I, I unironically believe Amazon in, in this case. Most just want to add more fuel to the fuck New World Fire. Well, the reason is because like Amazon is not, Amazon does not have the best um, public relations. Let's just say that their public relations are uh, pretty much zero. It's, a, it's not as bad as Blizzard, but it's pretty fucking close. And uh, because of that, Anytime that somebody does something wrong at Amazon or something bad happens at Amazon, uh, people will automatically take the other person's side. Uh, I'm not making a judgment on how bad Amazon or Blizzard is. I am making a judgment on what their perception to the public is. I think that many people perceive Blizzard to be more, um, I, I don't know, like Blizzard is fucking chaotic evil and... Uh, uh, Amazon is is lawful evil like I, I don't know like we can split hairs on this all the time all day long but the point is still the same you don't need to look too far into this the end result is that this was something that we thought happened it turns out that it did not happen thank you Amazon also uh, thank you for reaching out to me and letting me know so I can correct my audience and make sure people aren't going around with the wrong information so I just wanted to make a quick video talking about this and uh, as an update to the story. So far, all is good. So we'll see what happens. That's pretty much all I've got.